Off on another adventure, are we? It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Rebellion. Above us, she did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Revelio.
must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. Revelio. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we can. Revelio. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Repairer. Fantastic. Revelio. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Pepperdine is lucky. How lucky for us. Revelio. Watch your step. Just raring for a fight. Revelio. Quiet, what was that? Rebellion.
too warm if you ask me. Revelio. I don't suppose she listened to reason. Revelio. We're well past that. There's the nest. Revelio. Almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Repairer. If we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too Rebellion. much fuss. She left us perfectly unharmed. That's rather generous, isn't it? She did try to kill us the entire time. Only until she saw her egg, at which point I thought she rather warmed to us. The important thing is that we survived it, and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I'm ready whenever you are.
Revelio. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in? No. I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Beg your pardon, but... Polyjuice Potion wants keeping away from today's young, I'd say. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Wait till you see the print. It's simply divine. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. You 
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I can always rely on my patrons to keep me safe. Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. <laughs>